Hi guys, uh, my name is Jonathan Hidalgo and I'm the co-founder of Illustravis and Archivisual, also a 3D artist in my free time. Uh, I have been working with Archivis for more than 10 years and in all this time I have never used other software than 3 ds Max. But a year ago I decided to explore a little deep the Blender software and see with my own eyes what exactly was it. Because I heard so many times people talking about how amazing it is. So it grabbed my attention and believe me, since that time I've been surprising myself every single day. So in this first topic, we are going to talk if you can do the same things you do in 3ds Max in Blender. So let's go! Hey guys, so the answer for this question is yes, you can do the same things uh, you do in 3ds Max, you can do it in Blender, okay? So both softwares uh, have basically the same functionalities. The only thing you need to know if you want to switch to Blender is where are the functions, shortcuts and buttons. So let's compare the images. Uh, I created this image exactly to understand and learn everything I could in Blender when I started a year ago. Okay, so the main idea was to understand the possibilities of this big change in my company as well. Okay, so here you can see that we have 3ds Max on the right and we have Blender on the left. So both images were created um, using different um, render engine. So in 3ds Max I used F-Storm and in Blender I use Octane. So guys, um, as you can see, uh, the images are not exactly the same. We have like some uh, different contrast between them, uh, lighting between them and also saturation. But this is not the point right now. Uh, we are not discussing render engine. We are discussing if we can do the same things we do in 3ds Max if we can do it in Blender. So the answer again is yes, it's possible. And for maybe another video, we can discuss the, the render engines, okay? So let's go to the next topic. Here we are, pricing. Let's talk about pricing. Pricing is something that uh, everybody cares. Uh, and Blender is free. I think this is one of the most relevant thing about all these pros and cons. Uh, it becomes more, even more relevant and important if you have a studio and you need to pay all those licenses at the same time. 3ds Max, on the other hand, is not free but it has available now an indie license uh, that is just, I think, let me see, 265 a year. Um, much less than the full license. I believe that it will help a lot the 3D community and all involved uh, in 3D field. So this is Always when you talk about pricing is something that it's always relevant. So keep it in mind and let's go to the next topic. Three D models. Uh, Blender doesn't have enough models. I think everybody knows it, and this is where Blender start losing. A little bit. Uh, Blender doesn't have all those models that 3ds Max has because 3ds Max is in the market for decades, and that's the reason why 3ds Max has thousands and thousands of models. Uh, on the other hand, 3D models for Blender are becoming more available. Uh, not not many as 3ds Max, but uh, you can find really good websites out there as CG Mood. Uh, Turbo Squid and Blender Market. So let's uh, see this first one. CG Mood. If you are like starting uh, using Blender, uh, this is definitely one uh, that you should visit. 
So go to the uh, the logo, the Blender logo, and you have access to all uh, those models. This website is pretty good. I really recommend uh, you take a look at it. Uh, it has a lot of good, uh, pretty good models. So go there, take a look, and let me know. Uh, the other one is Turbisquid. Turbisquid, the same thing. Go to the Blender logo, and then you have access to like all these models. Uh, Turbisquid is more um, generalist, I uh, can say. Um, you you find a lot of like different kind of models, not just for archivists, but in general. So this is one that's pretty good as well. You can find like really really good models for I don't know maybe like animals or like humans, um, robots, like drones and everything. So it's it's a pretty good one. Uh, sometimes a little expensive, um, but it definitely worth it because the models uh, that you find here it like it's pretty pretty good. So take a look and let me know. The last one is Blender Market. Probably uh, you have already heard about it, and this I think this one is the most uh, new one. Uh, everybody like knows Blender Market, and it has not just 3D models, but you can find like scripts, add-ons, uh, materials, and a lot of more. Um, relevant things for your scenes so it's definitely uh, the one that you should visit um, take a look um, let me know if you have like any questions or if you need to know a little bit more or want to know more websites so I can record more videos um, okay so let's go to the next topic uh, let's discuss timing so let's go. Hi guys, let's compare timing. Time to start the software, time to open the project, time to save the project. Keep watching and compare by yourselves. Material Editor or Shader Editor for Blender users. So one thing that I really like about 3ds Max is this real-time preview shader. Um, as you can see, I can make quick adjustments and see what's going on in real-time. This is uh, pretty much something that I miss in Blender and I really like about uh, 3ds Max. This is really nice. So as you can see, like Blender doesn't have it. Uh, but on the other hand, Blender can be very organized. Uh, for, for example, I have created these two materials and material one, I can only create one material and this material will be related to one specific object or one specific part of this object. So if I want to create another material, to another part of this of this object or another part or another object i have to create uh, another slot for it so here in the slot 2 now i can apply it to another object so this is something that in 3ds max we don't have we don't have slots for like each individual material or individual object 
and you can create as many material as you want in the same uh, viewport, in the same view. So if you think about big projects, it can become a really mess. So keep it in mind and let's watch the next topic. software integration or plugin or add-on i think this can be one question that every archivist artist asks themselves does blender have a uh, first pack sweep profiler or like floor generator i think that those are the main ones uh blender has and hasn't they are not the same creator but Blender has similar ones. Um, I will show you one example that can replace a force pack. So scatter. This one it's pretty good, and and it's, it works uh, exactly as force pack. And in my opinion, this uh, it's very very useful and it's pretty pretty similar to force pack and has some different tweaks, different uh, adjustments, but it's pretty similar in terms of um, the way you set the things uh, in Scatter. So I believe they, uh, created, they created uh, Scatter based on Forest Pack. So that's the reason I think why it's very, very similar. And the next one is Floor Generator and Sweep Profiler. So in Blender, we have a plugin called ArcPack. And ArcPack has not just the floor generator and the sweep, of flight, the sweep profiler, sorry. Uh, but it has a lot of different things uh, that's very useful. For example, you can create walls, windows, uh, doors, stairs, um, it has like an, a red like kitchen setup where you can like adjust and modify everything you need uh, automatically. It's very, very useful. Uh, also, you can create a um, roof. Uh, you can create like the molding that the, this, the molding is the sweep profile um, and fences. So it's very very useful this one uh definitely replace uh these two plugins for 3ds max and it has a lot of more okay so yeah so let's discuss the next topic oh yeah user interface the last topic um, so when I was in this process of understanding the Blender software a year ago, I think that the most difficult thing was to know where were everything. It was like to enter the first time in a pilot cabin and see all that buttons scattered everywhere. But I realized that it happens like all the time when you try to change something in life or discover or learn new things it's always like that so actually thanks god i came to blender in the right time new times uh, because i have seen so many images of the older versions of blender and Really, it scares me a lot. Uh, I don't know, for some reason, like the, inter the old interface, it's pretty bad. Um, looks very disorganized uh, and very ugly, actually. This new, inter this new Blender interface is very friendly and much beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. And also it looks for some reason i don't know but i just like uh, put this both interface uh, on my screen and i don't know if you like can see the same thing i, I can i can see but they these two interface blender and 3ds max they look very similar for like 
I don't know, some reason, they, they look similar. Of course, they, they have like different uh, buttons, different names, different uh, functionalities, but they look very similar. So, I believe they, they, the both of, of them, like Max and Blender, uh, have good interface, and I think this is a plus for both. Okay, so let's go to the conclusion. Conclusion. Yeah, guys, the conclusion. My conclusion is that both 3ds Max and Blender have everything you need for working with architecture visualization. Maybe for some people Blender is better, maybe for others like Max is better, but at the end of the day, uh, the both software can do the job. Now, I think it's up to you guys to decide which direction uh, you want to take. And yeah, it's with you guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching and I hope it has helped you in somehow. So if you like this video, don't forget to follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Also, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I will be glad to answer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.